Have you heard of mukbang? I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but essentially it's just someone live streaming themselves eating food. Yeah, you heard that right. You just tune in and you watch someone eat. And at first, I didn't understand why someone would do this. But then the more I thought about it, the more it started to make sense. You see, it's a way to do something social. Maybe you live alone and you don't have anyone to eat with. Well, you can tune in, eat your meal, and now you're not eating alone. Another example which I recently discovered is study with me live streaming. And I didn't even know this was a thing. People live streaming themselves studying. And you can't even see what they're studying. You just watch them sit there, not moving, studying. And while this sounds extremely boring, trust me, there are a ton of people who tune in. And then that got me thinking, what would a Code With Me live stream look like? The more I thought about this, the more it grew on me. You see, I think most of us code alone, especially now that everyone is doing everything remotely. But what if we just got together, hung out and coded together? We'd be doing our own things and then on our coding breaks or study breaks, we could interact with the chat. And it would be like we were coding together, physically apart, but together virtually. And I think at least for some of you that doing something together as a group would serve as motivation to get some more coding practice in. So if you think that would help you, please give this video a thumbs up. Personally, for me, I know it would keep me accountable to study and to code, especially since I will have a live stream schedule. So there's a set place and a set time for everybody to come together and do some coding. Now keep in mind that I won't be talking and I won't be teaching, and you might not even be able to clearly see what's on my screen because that's not what the point of this is. The point is to study or code together. Or if you'd like, just come and hang out in the group chat. So here's the schedule that I'm thinking about. For the first week, we're just gonna try it out and do an hour each day. And then depending on how that goes, we'll set the schedule for the following week. You'll find the link to the schedule in the description below. Or just visit cwc.to slash livestream. So what do you think? I hope you can join in on one of these sessions. If you're planning to and you think you might be able to, drop a comment below to say I'll be there. Now this is the first time I'm doing something like this and I really hope it's gonna encourage more people to start coding and get some more coding practice in. I know for me, it's gonna help me learn new things and also to get a ton of practice in. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you there.